You may be seated. Honored graduates among us this evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the West Kentucky Community and Technical College Honors Program. This evening has been set aside to recognize our very best and brightest at the college. We are very, very honored to have you among our guests this evening because we know that each of you in the audience has, made a, has played a major role in advancing this young person, our student, uh, who is being recognized tonight. So we do welcome each and every one of you. The faculty, the staff, all of the college family has worked very hard to make this evening possible. And we want to give due recognition to our students as they come forward. But at this time, I would like to ask our faculty to please stand. I think they are uh, mostly in the back of the room so that faculty or uh, families could be up front tonight. But I would like to recognize and thank our faculty. We have uh, some up on stage as well. Each of them has, has worked very hard individually with tonight's honorees. They are the heart and soul of our college. Without their input, their guidance, their wisdom, uh, this college would not be what it is today. So I thank you, faculty, and I would ask that you join me in recognizing your hard work. We do have a photographer who will take pictures of each individual student and their recognition as they come forward. So I would ask that you refrain from coming forward for the pictures, but please enjoy this evening. Who's Who Among America's Junior College Students was established in 1966 to honor outstanding two-year college students in all areas of academic and campus activities. These students are leaders in the classroom as well as in their communities. West Kentucky Community and Technical College recognizes the following students as being named to who's who among America's junior college students. Keisha Bennett, Joy Lynn Betts, Rachel Brashear, Jason Clark, Nicole Hall, Daniel Johnson, Tega Jones, Rachel Mattingly, Sarah Morris, Deborah Mowbray, Alma Story, Ashton Arsini. Thank you. The Iota Ada chapter of Phi Theta Kappa recognizes the achievements of its graduating members with the presentation of the honor stole. Phi Theta Kappa was founded in 1910 to recognize and encourage 
the academic achievement of two-year college students and to provide opportunities for individual growth and development through participation in honors, leadership, service, and fellowship programming. Chapter advisors Dr. Kevin Garricky and Mrs. Carolyn Perry will award the recipients with the honor stole. Susan Bear, Jordan Culp. Tenequa Frizzell, Mary Hart Harris. Beth Hood, Lunette Kilcone. Audrey Lamb, Rachel Mattingly. Chris Mix, Kelly Neely. Jesse Norris, Rose Peavy. <coughs> Elizabeth Pham, Ashley Ramage. Rhiannon Riley, Steve Roberts. Lori Gold Schroeder, Donald Shaw. Barbie Shimwell, Susan Skipworth. <laughs> Melissa Smalley, Amy Smith. Stephen Taylor, Ben Terrell. And Ashley Whitley. Congratulations. The Allied Health and Personal Services Division is recognizing five of our outstanding students. Each of these students has shown commitment to excellence 
dedication to the clients and patients our graduates serve, and has excelled in the programs in which they are enrolled. The first award is the Cosmetology Outstanding Clinical Student. Stephanie Jarrett is awarded the Cosmetology Outstanding Clinical Student Award. This award recognizes students' outstanding achievement and unselfish devotion to his or her class, the school, and the profession. This award is given to students for their exceptional commitment to the clinical area in the profession of cosmetology, as well as the seven characteristic principles of the organization, which are knowledge, skill, honesty, service, responsibility, citizenship, and leadership. This student also has outstanding student achievement in the workforce. Amy Smith is awarded the Outstanding Physical Therapist Assistant Student Award. This award is given to the student who has the highest overall average in the Physical Therapist Assistant Program courses. Over the two years in the program, Amy demonstrated service in addition to her high academic achievement. She also willingly shared study techniques with other students in the program. It is my honor to award Amy Smith the Outstanding Physical Therapist Assistant Award. Rhonda Smith is awarded the Radiography Outstanding St a Student Award. Over the last two years, Rhonda has demonstrated time and again excellent technical, communication, and critical thinking skills while in the radiography program. She has worked as a student radiographer at Marshall County Hospital, participated in volunteer work for the United Way, served as 2008 through 2010 Vice President, and is a wife and mother of three. Kelly Neely is awarded the Surgical Technology Academic Achievement Award. Kelly is a wife and mother of three children from Murray. She is interested in acquiring as much knowledge as she can in order to be benefit her skills. Kelly has been a very hard worker throughout the program. It is my honor to award Kelly the award. <laughs> Marion Schneider is awarded the Surgical Technology Clinical Achievement Award. Marion has been a wonderful student to have in class. She was motivated to learn not only in the classroom, but at the clinical sites. She truly enjoyed and excelled in the hands-on experiences. It's my honor to award Marion the Surgical Technology Award. The Business and Computer Related Technologies Division is proud to honor seven students this evening. These students have demonstrated leadership, organization, time management, communication skills, and excellent computer skills in addition to their excellent academic performance in the classroom. Our first award is the Accounting Option Award. Donna Kurtzinger is the recipient. Donna began her academic career in the fall of 2005 and has persisted in the face of many real world challenges, maintaining a 3.857 grade point average. She has served as a student representative for the Accounting Option Advisory Committee for the past two years. Congratulations, Donna. The Management Honors Award goes to the student who has attained the highest degree of understanding of principles in both management and business. This year, we will honor Elizabeth Hood. <laughs> Beth has attended WKCTC full-time since 2008 and has maintained a 3.9 GPA while working full-time. She is very dedicated and delivers consistent quality work in all of her courses. She is currently employed in a retail management position at a local clothing store and is going to plan to extend their corporate ladder. This summer, Beth will transfer to Mid-Continent University to obtain her Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration. Our next award is the Outstanding Business Transfer Award. This goes to a student who has attained the highest degree of understanding in the core business, business transfer courses. Those are accounting, economics, business law, and statistics. The recipient is Laura Barnes.
Laura initially attended Union University, transferring to us in 2009, and has maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA. Her determination to understand and apply her knowledge of business principles was evident in each of her classes, says her many instructors. Laura was also selected by the business faculty as an outstanding business student and was honored at the Business Honors Breakfast in April. Laura plans to attend Murray State University with a major in accounting. Congratulations, Laura. The economic award goes to the student who has attained the highest degree of understanding in both microeconomics and macroeconomics. This honor goes to Jason Clark. <laughs> Attending WKCTC since 2008, Jason has maintained a 3.9 GPA. In addition to demonstrating outstanding academic abilities, Jason has developed a strong leadership style through serving as president of Phi Theta Kappa, which is our honor society on campus. He has facilitated programs and service projects to support the Kentucky School for the Blind. Jason was also selected by the business faculty as an honors recipient. Jason plans to attend Murray State University with a major in computer science. Congratulations, Jason. <laughs> the Culinary Arts Award goes to Cameron Lindsay. Cameron is an outstanding student who had perfect attendance, says his instructors in the culinary arts department. He would always volunteer for special events and catering. He has a special talent for baking and presentation. Cameron has been working at the Country Club of Paducah for the past two and a half years, and he's also a volunteer firefighter. The Information Technology Award goes to Daniel Johnson. Daniel began, his pursuit of a, Daniel began his pursuit of an IT degree in 2008 and has maintained a 3.73 GPA. He has focused his study in computer network administration on configuration of Cisco system routers and switches, but he's also studied network implementation with Microsoft servers. Daniel has balanced his schoolwork with employment at Best Buy as a member of the Geek Squad. He will be entering Murray State University in the fall, pursuing a degree in telecommunications systems management. We're proud of you, Daniel. We have two awards this evening for Office Systems Technology. The first goes to Susan Baer. Susan decided to attend West Kentucky after her employer closed its doors in Mayfield. Since jobs have been scarce in Mayfield, Susan decided to further her education and hone her skills in office systems technology program here at WKCTC. Susan says, the experience at West Kentucky Community and Technical College has been one that I will always treasure. I achieved greater success than I could have ever imagined. Everyone that I encountered seemed to have my goals in mind. Congratulations, Susan, as you continue to pursue your dream of building a secure future for yourself and your family. And our final award this evening is the Office Systems Technology Academic Award. This goes to a familiar face to many of us on this campus. Um, we're going to honor Deborah Mowbray tonight with this award. Deborah has maintained a perfect 4.0 GPA while working full time at the college. In addition to demonstrating outstanding academic abilities, Debbie has taken on additional projects including local leadership of Phi Beta Lambda and also competing at the state and national level in business communications. Her participation in professional development activities throughout her career include attending the Kentucky Summer Institute for Paralegals and also attending New Horizons Teaching and Learning Conference for KCTCS. Debbie can be depended upon to pay attention to detail and produce quality work. Congratulations, Debbie, as you continue to pursue your bachelor's degree.
is my pleasure to present the awards for the Humanities, Fine Arts, and Social Sciences Division. We have four outstanding honorees this year. The first recipient of an award for excellence from Humanities, Fine Arts, and Social Science is in the Criminal Justice Program. This is the first year for an award in this program. Shay Holloman is graduating with an Associate of Applied Science in Criminal Justice. She is a full-time employee at the Kentucky State Penitentiary, a mother, and just recently had her third child. She's training for a marathon, and on top of all this, has maintained a 4.0 average. Congratulations, Shay. Our next honoree is Sam Davis, who is receiving certificates in both Homeland Security Emergency Management and the EMT program in December. In addition to working and getting married, and despite changes that were made in the program as it got off the ground, he stuck with it and maintained a 3.4 average in the program. Congratulations, Sam. The recipient of this year's Spanish award is Morgan Alvey. Morgan distinguished herself with the highest average for both semester of, semesters of Senora Perry's Spanish class. Morgan had never had a Spanish class and admitted to Senora Perry that she was a little nervous about learning the language. However, she was determined to do well in her classes. With her drive and passion for learning, Morgan hopes to combine her love of the language and a career in government or politics. After graduating from WKCTC in the fall of 2010, she will pursue a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from the University of Louisville. Morgan's ultimate goal is a Master of Legislative Affairs from George Washington University's Graduate School of Political Management in Washington, D.C. With her interest in politics and international policy, she is enthusiastic about her future, and we, we wish Morgan well for a successful career. Congratulations, Morgan. <laughs> the Technical Theater Award goes to Christy Driver. Constance Frank, profes professor of theater and speech, describes Christy as an invaluable member of our working crew this past year for the Clemens Fine Arts Center. Her exemplary efforts as art gallery attendant and the hospitality service she provided for main stage shows, campus series performances, backstage pass, and art receptions were a welcome boon to the staff. She has been a tireless hostess who always served with a smile. In addition, she also worked with the backstage crew on the professional touring shows and most recently acquired skills in stage makeup application for the WKCTC production of South Pacific. We are happy to have the opportunity to honor Christy and are thankful for her hard work and initiative. Congratulations, Christy. Good evening. The faculty members of the Science and Mathematics Division are pleased to recognize the following outstanding students. Our first honoree is Erica Lyles, who is receiving a Certificate of Excellence in Biology. Erica was nominated by Dr. Felix Okoji, who served as her mentor this past fall as she participated in our Independent Science Research Program. Dr. Koji has been impressed with the dedication, hard work, and insightfulness displayed by this gifted student. Erica plans to transfer to the University of Louisville, where she will major in biology. Congratulations, Erica Lyles. Corey Draffin is the recipient of not one, but two awards from the Science and Math Division. The CRC Press Chemistry Achievement Award is presented to the student who received the highest average in the four se semester sequence chemistry courses, General College Chemistry 1 and 2, followed by Organic Chemistry 1 and 2. The Mathematics Honor Award is presented to the full-time student with the highest average in the Calculus 1 through Calculus 4 sequence. Corey is a student in the Chemical Engineering Program at the University of Kentucky Paducah campus. Congratulations, Corey Draffin.
Rachel Brashear is also the recipient of two awards from the Science and Math Division. Rachel is the recipient of the Certificate of Excellence in Physics based on her performance in the two semester sequence of general university physics courses. Rachel is also receiving the Mathematics Honor Award presented to the student with the highest overall average in the Calculus 1 through Calculus 4 sequence. Rachel is a student in the Chemical Engineering Program at the University of Kentucky, Paducah campus. Best wishes to you, Rachel Brashear. The Nursing Division is pleased to recognize its honors recipients for excellence in nursing education. The faculty of the Practical Nursing Program are pleased to present the Practical Nursing Achievement Award to Tammy Bailey. <laughs> Tammy has completed her Practical Nursing Education through the Nursing Education Mobility Pathway, which is a unique education opportunity that allows students to complete their nursing education going two days a week, allowing them to continue to meet the needs um, outside of their education. Tammy has demonstrated the attributes of compassion, professionalism, commitment, and optimism in all situations encountered. Congratulations, Tammy. <laughs> the associate degree nursing faculty are presenting two awards this evening. The Nightingale Award goes to Rachel Mattenley. The Nightingale Award recognizes high academic achievement combined with the demonstration of the professional attributes necessary for nursing. The nursing faculty believe that this student shows promise of making a significant contribution to nursing in the areas of competence, caring, and the advancement of the profession. Congratulations, Rachel. The LPN to RN Achievement Award is given to Nicole Thomas. This award recognizes the licensed practical nurse who has earned the associate degree in nursing through the accelerated LPN to RN curriculum. Nicole received advanced standing for her previous LPN education and was then able to complete the RN program in one academic year. Nicole has excelled academically as well as consistently demonstrating the skills necessary to practice nursing with a high level of competence and professionalism. Congratulations, Nicole. The Paducah School of Arts uh, recipient of honors in visual art this year is Allison Reynolds. Our criteria for honors in art are as follows. The recipient must be a degree-seeking student who shows, who excels in the visual arts showing high levels of technical accomplishment in more than one medium and extraordinary creativity. This year's recipient excels in absolutely everything she does. <laughs> she was a unanimous choice of the fine arts faculty. Uh, congratulations, Allison. The Accessible College Education Program is pleased to recognize two students this evening. The Accessible College Education Student Achievement Award is presented to Nicole Hall. Nicole completed her Associate in Arts degree by taking accelerated and online classes while working full-time for the Law Office of Brian S. Katz. Nicole states, 
I chose West Kentucky because the options and available classes in the ACE program were a perfect fit into my work schedule and home life. Being able to manage my own class schedule and hours of campus or online gave me the flexibility I needed to be able to pursue both my education and advancements in my career field. Nicole will continue her education at Mid-Continent University, pursuing a bachelor's degree in business administration. Congratulations, Nicole. The Accessible College Education Academic Excellence Award is presented to Alexandra Sherwood. Alex completed her Associate in Arts degree by taking accelerated and online classes, receiving credit through challenge exams and portfolio development while operating her own business. Alex states, when I became an American citizen on June 16, 2006, one of the proudest moments of my life, everything changed. It was such a milestone that when I decided to go back to school, my biggest challenge was my age and juggling my full-time fitness business. Thanks to the accelerated program and online classes, I was able to achieve my goal. I could not have achieved these goals without the incredible guidance and mentoring for Dr. Tammy Owen and Professor William Wade. West Kentucky holds a special place in my heart. Alex will be pursuing a bachelor's degree in organizational communication through Murray State University and plans to continue in the master's program. Alex's goal is to teach communications and French at West Kentucky. The women from Southside Women's Fitness Center are very proud of you. Congratulations, Alex. The faculty and staff of the Applied Technologies Division are pleased to recognize the following outstanding student, Kyle Lund. Kyle completed his Associate in Applied Science degree with a computer-aided drafting and design emphasis. He has been on the Dean's list each semester and has excellent attendance. He always exhibits diligence in his work, professionalism, and preparedness. He will be pursuing a bachelor's degree in civil engineering from the University of Kentucky. Congratulations, Kyle. This year, Student Support Services is proud to give its emerging, emerging, <laughs> emerging Leader Award to Bruce Horman. In addition to being a super nice guy, Bruce has been an inspiration to many around him. Bruce's story is, when one door closes, another one opens. Several years ago, when Bruce and his wife were raising four children, Bruce suddenly had to leave his job because of an injury. They had to make a lot of unforeseen decisions. One of the hardest was what would he do with his future. He thought college might give him a chance to choose a direction, but he knew it would be hard because he'd been out of school for 26 years. So Bruce started with some introductory courses with his focus on math, but through his hard work ethic and commitment, he discovered he could make it happen. And in the process, he did a lot of amazing things, like last fall, he took Calculus 3 as an online class and passed it. <laughs> in this semester, he clawed his way through Calculus 4. And now, Bruce is a student in UK's engineering program. Congratulations, Bruce. Well, first let me say congratulations to each of you. The faculty, all of your instructors, the staff, the counselors, your entire West Kentucky Community and Technical College faculty, or family family, not faculty, all of us, family. Uh, we congratulate you. We, we know that you are going to truly be a success in life and represent us in the best way possible. So again, all of you, please join me in saying congratulations. I think 
that you saw such a representation of our college up here this evening. The community college, to me, uh, is an institution like no other. It is truly the gateway to success for so many in far western Kentucky, for Kentucky, and for the entire country. I represent the faculty, the staff, again, the family of this college when I say I am very pleased that you chose to start your career with us or to start with this college and continue your education. I believe so strongly in what we are doing, um, the ability to serve a diverse group of students. We uh, are very, very pleased of our mission to have transfer education, to have technical programs that will allow you to start your career with us, and to provide this community with opportunities in continuing education, in business and industry training, in cultural activities that we have at this college. So I, I know I at least heard from Alex tonight that her desire was to come back and teach and be a part of this faculty. I think that you, sitting out there tonight, um, that you're very proud of this college as well. But it is about the young people tonight, our students on this stage, and all that they have done to represent you well. But please, uh, our community, we all need to work to advance education in far western Kentucky and share the success stories that you have heard tonight and carry that message forward. We do ask that you join us in a reception in the Student Center lobby and let us meet you, let us congratulate you. So please stand for the recessional and we will adjourn to the lobby. <laughs>